So I'm watching this movie right now. It's called Time Trap. And you see how there's like an invisible shield there, an invisible invisible force. Yeah. It's about this guy that um, he discovers a different realm, sort of say, inside. Moisture. So there's water. The, the heavens above, the waters below, the waters below. And it's in a cave where he found it. Right? And that reminds me of how at the center of the North Pole, um, where all compasses are pointed to, um, time moves differently. Two days later. Oh, Jack, come on, wake up. what's going on? But I'll be back. Jackie and I were teaching assistants. Check this out. Guys, He's going to mention the Fountain of Youth. And uh, he's been obsessed with finding these hippies that went missing back in the 70s. Mm -hmm. They were tripping shrooms or something, and they went off looking for the fountain of youth. What? And they never came home. Fountain of youth? Really? Look, I'm not asking you Making them look like they're crazy? You can stay in the car. Because they were tripping yeah. shrooms. Yeah, all right. Well, we... So here we are again with the same movie, and they're going to mention the fountain of youth. Here you go. I'm not far ready. Password is fart party. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it should be coming up soon. They are on their way to find the fountain of youth. Because they're making fun of these hippies that they said earlier that they went missing and they found the fountain of youth because they were looking for the fountain of youth which they probably did find the fountain of youth and um that's why they didn't come back to this filthy world same movie again they're gonna mention the fountain of youth once more Jackie. it's like the fourth time they mention it yeah why didn't he tell us? The hoppers are. Uh, but I don't get it. Should it be coming ever now? Hopper didn't just go looking for some random hippies. I got lost trying to find the fountain of youth. He's trying to find his missing parents. Now yeah, distraction. Me? No, they were they yeah. were looking for the fountain of youth. They probably found it. Alright. Okay, so now they're climbing in the cave, down into the cave, and you're gonna see how there's like. Said damp. You see, it looks like there's water there. You can feel it. Yeah. There's like this invisible boundary where the air completely changes. The air changes. The ether or whatever it is. Look, he's on that side. Remember how he got stuck there earlier? Now these guys are on the other side, and all it is. Look. Whoa. He's moving so slow. Everything happens so slow on that side. On the other side, at the center, everything happens really slow on the other side. Once you get to the other side, time moves slow. We're on the side, on the wrong side of the dish where everything moves quick. The land of the dead, everything dies. So the guy from earlier is getting back in his car and it's been like, it looks like it's been a really long time. There's weeds and grass and branches in his car now, spider webs, and that just says that time moves slow on that side, while on this side it moves really quickly. So the guy went back in there to find his um, daughter because he realized his daughter's there. He's going to throw that stick. Oh, uh, you see it got stuck. And he just threw it into the other side. He just threw it into the other side. And he's starting to realize that it's an invisible shield that is just separating the two worlds. So check this out. This was interesting in the movie. Look, it's like she's in another place, in another... Dimension. She's in a different dimension. Things are like floating around. What do you mean? What happened? I've never seen anything like it. Everything's gone. Okay, there's no trees. There's no glass. There's some rock everywhere. When they first got into the the um Wait, the, the cave, it was trees and stuff. And then she got out from the cave in a particular what? spot, and it was what you just saw right now. 
It doesn't make sense. The time code spans several days. We've only been in here an hour. Time <laughs> moves on slower on the other side. Right the sun. The sun. I, was... I think it's days and nights. It's where the time code didn't match in the videos. Seriously? That might be the dumbest thing I've ever heard. The sun. Days and nights. Spiraling in and spiraling out. It must spiral at a different speed at the center. Yes, I was up there for 30 minutes. This is seconds. Why are the tapes different? Talking about Why time. are the tapes different? What the hell's going on, Taylor? I realized something when we watched Furby's tape. The night had passed in his footage, but the rope was still running from the cave to the van. It wasn't a person who cut the rope. It was friction over a long period of time. Check this out. What? Time is passing differently. Yeah. Time is passing differently. There than in the surface. It's the sun. It's the sun. Rising and setting. Rising and setting. It's the only way the firm beast tape was days ahead of ours, even though we all came at the same time. What? How long have we been down here for? I'm a day to speak. Seriously? We've been here weeks, maybe months already. Weeks, months. <laughs> wow. So many They're making it. They're making it um, look like it's a trap, like it's a bad. Not crying because you're my big sister, and I know you'll be happy. They're making it sound like it's a horrible thing, like it's a trap. Well, the movie's called Time Trap, but we know that at the center it's not a trap. Every time that happens, that's a day? That's a day. That's one day, two days, three days. The fountain of youth. The fountain of youth. So it's like if time stops, we stay young forever. At the God, center really the of, of the youth. flat earth plane where all compasses are pointing to, get to the center of the flesh that's before it. you die. Okay. Truth in plain we sight. Have to get out of here. So here, they're going to realize that the sun's path keeps changing. That right there. The sun's path keeps changing. What? Why is it doing that? Oh my god. It's not just the sun. And? It's the seasons. This thing is the sun shifting on the horizon. Oh my god, you're right. That's not just one revolution. It's hundreds. What did she say? Wow. That's why everything was so different on the surface. We've been down here a really long time. What? Guys, what's going on down there? What's on the video? It hasn't just been minutes, hours, weeks, months. It could be years. Those are entire years. Years. It's the solstice. That's the only thing that makes sense. Seriously? You should go this a year, not a day? What is it? Taylor, we've been in here for hours. So just like Mark Braun said, an hour could be 40 years. So this guy, he's dead, right? And they place him in the well, which is inside the cave. And he's in the well right now. And it seems like these are the, maybe possibly the cavemen, right? Represent like the reptilians. The bad people with bad intentions, how they can't get in. They can't get into the fountain of youth. They're not allowed there because they don't have good intentions. And the guy in the black, he's guarding this place. He's like the guardian. And the guy just came back to life. He's alive. Because he drank from the fountain of youth, the water. The rich stem cell water from the Mother Earth that rejuvenate and bring you back to life and give you a superhuman body. Major breakthroughs. American footprint. 
lives on distant worlds are not too big So now they're making this sound like this is a space movie. Oh my goodness. Like they're like in a different dimension because it's a different planet or something like that. Stupid shit. liking the ending because they made it a movie about space and how it seems like it was just an experiment or something like that and now they're like in a different planet yeah. all these people had died inside of the cave the this and place? now they're all alive well, it's not quite home, but at least we're all together. Together? Like, you see together, together? In the background no, they have a CGI of earth so it's a very interesting movie. Help! It's a very interesting movie. Um, it talks about the fountain of youth at the center of the flat earth plane and everything. But they made it a thing about space. And um, we know that's not true because the earth is flat. <laughs> 